I'll be the first to admit that I love a little bit of Roundup in my life. But what exactly is the difference between Roundup and Glyphosate? Let's find out. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a changer. I leave the city and return with my changer. If you were able to make it through that completely uncalled for intro, thank you. <laughs> Why do I do this? Time for the boring stuff. Let's talk about glyphosate. If you guys don't know, glyphosate is actually a non-selective herbicide and it'll kill anything that it touches. It's the main ingredient found inside Roundup and depending on what kind of Roundup you get, there's different herbicides that they add along with it. Nine times out of 10, if you're buying a ready to use Roundup product from the store, you're gonna get a gallon like these. If you take a look at the ingredients here, not only does it have glyphosate in it, it actually has palergonic acid as well. And palergonic acid is exactly what toasts your weeds right away. It's not the glyphosate that's in it. And this could actually be a good thing or a bad thing because glyphosate is what will ensure you get a complete kill, but it takes a really long time. The palergonic acid is what's going to make it disappear immediately. The difference between most Roundup products and glyphosate is that glyphosate acts a lot slower when getting to the roots, so you don't get such a quick kill. It's absorbed foliarly. It's absorbed foliarly. It's absorbed through the leaves of the grass, which means that it gets down to the roots a lot slowly. So you may see seven to 10 days before you get a full kill on the plant. For example, we have some creeping type grasses over here in this rock bed. Now, no matter how much Roundup you put on these, they just seem to keep coming back. And since it's in a backyard, I'm not too worried about the glyphosate taking one week to work. So I'm gonna apply an application of glyphosate that'll ensure a slow kill down to the deep roots so we don't have to worry about this ugly mess in the backyard. Since it's not the front yard, if you're more patient with it, you'll get a more thorough kill. Knocking doors down off the hinges. I did a blanket spray of complete glyphosate on my round four days ago, and as you can see, it's not fully dead just yet. So I'm being patient, I'm gonna wait seven days. My plan is to completely do a new lawn renovation, and once everything is dead, I'm gonna hit it a second time just to make sure, and then I'll continue with my seeding process. The reason that I applied only glyphosate and not what's in all the other Roundup products, because there's a two week seeding window. Anytime you use the additional additive herbicides that they put in Roundup, such as Dyqua, and I'd rather get a slow, steady kill to make sure everything is done because I'm seeding one type of cultivar rather than throw down something that's just going to burn the leaf tissues and not guarantee the grass to die. So if you plan on doing a complete lawn renovation, I highly recommend that you use just glyphosate because if you use any of the other Roundup products that have the other herbicides in them, there could be a two, three week seeding window and you can have issues with sowing your seeds and having them sprout. This is the product that I use for my lawn renovation. It's 41% glyphosate, and the mixing instructions say that you need to mix two and a half ounces per gallon of water per 300 square feet. So just make sure you follow those directions if you're doing a lawn renovation uh, and you apply it properly. I got this off of Amazon. It was $20 for a gallon, so it's rather economical if you ask me. If you use Roundup and you see it killing your plants right away, it's actually not glyphosate that's doing that. It's one of other two chemicals that they add in. Sometimes time is of the essence, and in these kind of situations, I like to use a Roundup product because it'll get a quick kill. It's not gonna guarantee that it's gonna be dead forever, but within a day, you'll start seeing it die. And one of the biggest places I like to use this specific Roundup product is in the mulch beds. This is a prime example of something that I don't want to wait a week for. It's in the mulch bed. Everybody could see it. It's in the front yard. And I know you lawn care addicts, you always try to baby your front yards and have it make it look pristine. So that's where a Roundup product like this comes in handy. I want to thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you learned something or you just enjoyed my content, consider subscribing. And with that, this is George from Princess Crush.